Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a half up hairstyle and I'm going to start by parting out a rectangle here on top of her head. Alright, now that I have that parted out, I'm going to place a little claw clip on either side of that so that I don't grab any of this hair while I'm braiding the top. And then I'm actually going to add one more clip right here on the back just so that I'm sure that all of this hair is out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to grab a small piece of hair right here on the front. I didn't part out a whole bunch of hair, probably about an inch from the front of her head. With this front section, I'm going to split it in half to make two strands. And I am going to spray each of these down with a little bit of water before we start just so that we don't have flyaways. Okay, now we're going to be working on the center section. All of this hair that I parted out in the rectangle is going to be woven through these two strands. And I'm going to be getting this kind of messy looking. It's more of a grown up look, so I don't want it super perfect. But to make the weave, I'm going to come right here by this part that I made and I'm grabbing a small section of hair. And I'm just going to weave it through these two strands. So I'm going over the first one under the second one and then I'm just going to let that hair drop to the side and then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side and you want to make sure you're weaving this through the opposite way so I went over this strand under this strand on the way back I'm going to go over this strand under this strand so you always go over first whichever side you're on these are going to kind of loosen up as you're going just don't worry about it too much you can tighten them if you need to. And I'm just going to keep going back that way until I get to the very end of the section. Obviously, the smaller strands you take, the more intricate this weave is going to be. If you want it more chunky looking, you can take bigger pieces. Okay, now that I've brought all of that hair through those two strands, I'm just going to take them and tie them off here at the top to keep everything tight for the next step. So at this point, if you want to tighten things up, you can. I'm just gently tugging on each of these strands. And again, I don't want this super perfect looking. I like it a little bit puffier. So I'm going to go ahead and take these clips out now. And then I'm going to be making a braid along each side of this weave. So I'm just going to be grabbing a small section of hair here in the front. I am leaving some hair above her ears just so that it's more flattering. I went ahead and added a little bit of water to this piece just to keep the flyaways down. I'm going to split this in three and I'm going to be making a lace braid. So I'm bringing the outside strands over that middle strand and as I'm coming back, I'm going to be adding in all of these little pieces that I brought in through that weave, just to that top strand. So here on the bottom, I'm not adding anything in. And then again on the top, I'm taking another of those pieces from the weave. And I'm just going to continue that until I've added in all of the strands here from the top. That I've added in all of those extra pieces I'm just going to braid this down normally a little ways and then we'll tie it off all right now we're just going to do the same thing here on this other side I'm going to make another braid that comes back the same way and then I'm going to take all three of the pieces and just tie them together here in the center with one rubber band I went ahead and braided that other side and now I'm just going to combine everything here in the center. 